Subscribe, like and share. Remember to click the bell please. Watch our playlist again so as to grasp the continuous trend of the market and refresh your mind. Good evening, good evening, bonsoir, good news, not just the investors in North and South America. Good morning to investors in Asia. Good night, good night to investors in Europe and Africa. I'm Daniel Yu speaking from Hong Kong. It's 9th January here and 8th January in Wall Street. This week, I have five main points to talk about. Number one is the US dollar index. Number two, psychological state of investors. Number three, employment situation. Number four, fund flowing into market. Number five, potential stocks for bull market. When talking about the fourth index of US stock market, actually there are four choices. Besides the Dow Jones, S&P and Nasdaq, some will say the fourth index is the Russell Index. Some will say it's the Philadelphia Semiconductor Index. Some will say it's the Golden Dragon Index. But in 2023, I want to talk about the US Dollar Index, for it has a unique effect that no others can replace it. Actually, all of the above have their own importance and neither should be neglected. But the effect of US dollar index would have a strong contradiction. In the first half of this year, it will pull down the market and the second half will push it up. So different times must have different wheels upon it. Traditionally, US dollar index is in reverse proportion with currencies and commodities. That is when US dollar rises, foreign currencies will fall as well as gold, and most commodities will fall. But cryptocurrencies normally will go in direct proportion with Nasdaq. The rise and fall will be in the same direction with Nasdaq. Simply because Bitcoin runs in accordance with Nasdaq and all other cryptos are affected by Bitcoin. Investors should mind that these interrelations are coming to a crossroad in this year. This month, and even maybe this week. Less will the road map from the way be. Inflation started to rise in summer of 2021, but at that time, the Federal Reserve kept on saying it's just temporary. Why? Because the world economy was recovering from pandemic, the Euro Cup final was held in July, and people were in retaliation for consumption. Inflation made the US dollar slightly went up because the Federal Reserve had no idea to raise the interest rate at that time. In February 2022, conditions show that the rate increasing cycle will start in March and US dollar started to show up. Stock market rebounded on starting of Russian-Ukraine conflict and turned down because of inflation and rate increasing cycle. Later on, Inflation is controlled, and it peaked at late September for weight high magnitude would have the last rise of 75 base points in early November, and henceforward will shank to 50 base points or under. Traditionally, when petroleum rises, it could bring about inflation. US dollar will fall and stock market will fall also, but energy-related stocks will rise and vice versa. When the interest rate rises, it will bring up the US dollar, but push down the stock market. In 2022, people expected the interest rate cycle would start to increase. Therefore, both S&P and Dow Jones reached top in early January 2022, and Nasdaq reached top even in November 2021. The major trend in 2022 is the rise of US dollar push down the stock market. But in late September, because of the fund flow of US dollar, that is, I have been talking for several videos of the RRP topped on September 30th, 2022. Dow Jones started a double bottom pattern of rebound and even penetrated the watershed to shoot up into bull market. 
but regret that it only lasted for three days without confirmation and sank down again. For the whole year, basically, US dollar is running in reverse proportion with stocks. UST rose from January to September and then dropped down. Stocks dropped from January to September and rebounded up. Now, both USD and Dow Jones are in a narrow ranging zone. Actually, they merge together, but when USD overlaying with S&P, it is apparently weaker and lower than that of Dow Jones. When overlaying with Nasdaq, both are facing the lowest support of multi bottoms. Even it still have a chance to drop further, but the 10,000 points is considered a strong support, not only for Nasdaq, but for the whole market. For if the weakest index can stand fast, that means the whole market is firm enough. So at first, a strong US dollar index will push down the stocks, but later on, beams of hope that interest rate will reach the peak, USD turn weak and stocks rebound. In 2023, the focus of market will change from inflation to employment. When the interest rate is expected to decrease in 2024, USD again will turn weak. But when worry of recession comes, it will again make stocks weaker. In such a case, a weak currency can bloom the export and can push up stocks in recession. Strong employment situation will press down recession or shorten period of recession, but need not be afraid of course pool inflation, but focus already changed to employment and no more on inflation. This year is the year of crossroads. Different times of US dollar will lead to different effects on stocks, sometimes in direct proportion and sometimes in reverse proportion. So better stick to our daily report, the US Stock Express, so as to have a closer monitor of the market trend or join our Telegram group where latest news is always released over there. Now, we go to the second part, which is the psychological state of investors. The current situation depends on how investors view the changes and how to evaluate the gradual changes, for it would not come out on a single day and have a U-turn so. As most people expect a series of rate highs would push up unemployment, Especially, a lot of job cuts were heard in large enterprises like Amazon and Twitter, this and that continuously. As for the chip four, they are bringing jobs back to the US and also moving out factories from China to India and Vietnam, where the labor cost is five or ten times higher in China and production line is more stable in those emerging countries. This is beneficial to press down the cost for inflation. So the unemployment rate of US is thus lowered and even among so many drug cuts. There is a form of labyrinth walk in St. John's Cathedral of Hong Kong, which is a kind of psychological treatment to strengthen the confidence of participants. In Trinity Church of Wall Street, it only opens one hour on Wednesday. In St. John's of Hong Kong, it opens 24 hours a day, seven days a week, but must be under guidance of the chief mentor of our seminar in order to reach the designated effect. Anyway, you have to join our elementary course first, which is held in March in Elmerty of Kazakhstan. There is a standing dish in the market. New traders die of chasing high. Old traders die of buying at low. So during stage three of the bear market, it is time to buy. But when the stage three is lasting for over half the year, it depends on the psychological state of when to buy. So wait further time and the bear market goes to an end and buy or buy first and wait for bull market to come actually is an important psychological state of investors rather than market movements. Now, let's have a review of the employment situation. First of all, the challenger job cut even is greatly lower from 7,685k to 4,3615k, 
but it's still the second highest of this year. But initial claims reported good news that it is greatly dropped from 223k to 204k. The grand trend of the past eight weeks and six months are lowering down, and 200k is a psychological barrier of prosperity, and now it's quite near and has a chance to break the low shortly. It can be wheeled together with the strongest support of the market, which is at 10,000 points of Nasdaq Composite, where the writer had been talking for more than half a year. ADP, which is a little long from grew from 182k to 235k, which is good news. So the big non farm even lowered from 256k to 223k is considered good news for the forecast is just 200k. In the early stage of recovery, it should have at least 250k, but now is the fourth year of pandemic when above 150k should be considered as a passing mark. From the above employment situation, we can come to a conclusion that the recession in 2023 is not so horrible or even a hard landing can replace recession. Anyway, even if it comes, it would not be too deep or too long. As for unemployment rate, it is reported at 3.5% again. Do you know what the concept of 3.5% is? It is the best since the landing of the moon in 1969. That is the greatest American project ever in history. And the unemployment rate at that time was 3.4% to 3.5%. So don't worry too much at the inflation as the peak has already passed. And unemployment at this fabulous rate. For RRP, it is at 2242 billion now. When in comparison to last week of 2553 billion, Funds are flowing back to market by institutional buyers. The problem is the same problem. Buying in bear market is a long, long journey. At what time should enter depends on the psychological state of investors, not only for individual investors, even institutional buyers face such an adversity. Where the interest rate high in the next FOMC meeting is 50 base bonds or 25 base bonds is too early to talk about now but you should keep an eye on it. So for stock recommendations, this time all are my long-term favorite stocks. For Coke, KO, aggressive buyers can buy now, for it and just have a break full of all average lies. Conservative buyers better wait for it to go down under the 250 SMA and measure the same height above it and when it drops to that level and buy. Now the highest point is at $64.7, when minus the 250 SMA, which is at 61.72 equals to $2.98, use the 250 SMA to minus 2.98 and thus come to 58.74. So the process of buying can be divided into five levels for formula buying as said in teaching video 2. There is a concise method of calculation of buying and profit taking in that video. So for McDonald MCD, the same as Coke, already told to have profit taking two months ago. So aggressive buyers can buy back now upon the big white candle state, while conservative buyers can use the above formula buying and profit taking method in teaching video too. Pepsi PEP is also in the same position as MCD and Coke, where I told to take profit two months ago and can buy back now. As for Boeing, BA and Visa, B are the stocks recommended in last video, which can continue to hold longer for the trend of Chinese travelers is just at the beginning and still far from the end. So lastly, the borderline of China have been opened yesterday and 60k of people will come to Hong Kong per day, which denotes 180k per month. Hong Kongese can also go to mainland China and back on 60k per day basis. 
No need to mind the exact number of infection of coronavirus in China as we are unable to get it. Anyway, this wave is quicker and the spread will be wider than that of January 2020. What investors should do is to act as those specialists said. Mind carefully the following points. A. Balance of diet. B. Sufficient sleeping. C. Suitable exercises if you have already been inoculated with effective MRMA vaccines and put on masks and wash hands frequently. Whether the virus would have variants, we cannot control, but we can control the above several points. So watch carefully and see what will happen next when Saturn meets Jupiter on January 20th. Sayonara, after this scene, adieu, bye bye, see you next week.